the quote for the evening. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Thank you very much. Please call the roll. There are seven present, and Alderperson Rinflish is attending remotely. Thank you very much. We have some guests tonight to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, three young scouts from Cub Scout Troop 3816. Would you please come up to the, the front gentlemen and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Thank you. Next, we'll move on to the approval of the minutes from our last council meeting. All the person will. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, next, we have a resignation. City Attorney. from the Harbor Center Business Improvement District, effective December 18, 2018. Okay, that one uh, we'll accept then, Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. City Attorney. 1.5 is an appointment. Uh, the mayor hereby submits the following appointment for your consideration. Jordan Saunders to be considered for appointment to the Harbor Center Bid Board to fill the unexpired term of Aaron Sloma, whose term expires 12-31-2020. That'll lie over. City Attorney for confirmations. 1.6 is confirmations of appointments. The mayor hereby submits the following appointments for your consideration to the Harbor Center Bid Board. Rick Scroggins, business owner. Amy Horst, business owner. Eileen Simmons, property owner. Jane Davis Wood, business owner. Paul Rudnick, business owner. Chad Palaszczuk, city government. All for terms to expire December 31, 2020. Thank you very much. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. One more confirmation. Additional uh, confirmation uh, pursuant to General Ordinance 661213, creating Section 2 419 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code relating to the position of Director of Information Technology. Uh, the Mayor and the City Administrator hereby recommend that Eric Bushman be appointed as the Director of Information Technology for the City of Sheboygan effective immediately. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make an, a motion to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of the confirmation, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. One more confirmation. The Mayor hereby submits the following appointment for your consideration. Dave Huffman to be considered for appointment to the City Plan Commission to fill the unexpired term of Bill Thiel, whose term expires April 20, 2020. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to the public forum. City Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Dane Schaefer. Could you You'll please state, oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. state your name and address for us, please? Uh, Dane Schaefer, 3728 South 13th Street. Thank you. You'll have five minutes. Okay. You're going to have to excuse me. I literally just sprinted up all those stairs and everything. So sorry uh, if I'm out of breath this whole time. Good evening. As always, I'd like to start by thanking Common Council, Mayor Vanderstein, city officials for hearing my comments tonight. I believe the debate over the armory is a microcosm of Sheboygan. <clears throat> um, 
For years, the leadership of the city has been in constant scramble to spur development through inorganic means. Subsidizing new developments at taxpayers' expense has repeatedly taken precedence over the direct needs of the community and its taxpayers. The idea of improved quality of place, quality of life for the people that live here, or even basic infrastructure repairs and improvements are delayed or ignored to make way for short-sighted attempts to increase our tax base. Tonight you will vote whether or not to take another step towards taking a publicly, historically significant place and its property away from the community, demolish it at, at our expense, and then, if history is any indicator, subsidize a private developer, again at our expense, um, <clears throat> sorry, again at our expense, to build something very few residents will ever benefit from. If you vote in favor of moving forward, you are doing so without even letting the fiscal backers have a say in the matter. Not only is that bad governance, it's honestly shameful. I realize we need to find a way to financially support our public goods. I have a few ideas on how we could do that. I know at least one way that doesn't seem to make a lick of sense. Saying you have a lack of funds for public goods and then spending $4 million on a new business district and making it a TID, subsidizing a parking garage for a few million uh, in a currently all but deserted part of town for a totally unproven concept because what is essentially a business lobbyist group told you to does not make any sense to me. Would you add a bedroom onto your house that needs a new roof and some new flooring so that your friends can move in with the promise that they'll pay their fair share of rent in five to ten years? If you are struggling to live within your means, you don't stop taking care of your house and family to make speculative investments. You need more tax income uh, and help. Sorry, you need more tax income and want to help businesses have an easier time recruiting and retaining talent. Take care of the people that already pay to live here. Seek to improve what we already have. Try to make Sheboygan a place people are excited to live and work in. If you focus on that, property values will increase and you will get more tax money and new people will be excited to come here, build a home or business, and they won't need handouts to do it. So you know how I personally feel about it. But I'm not even asking you to give, give me my way. I am simply asking that you let the community decide with a binding referendum to allocate tax money to repair the building. You will be undoubtedly told that tonight is not the demolition of the building, but just due diligence. But without a clear picture as to what the property legally can be used for, without a plan as to what the property will be used for, and without allowing your constituents to be heard, what's the rush? Thank you. Is there anyone else? No one else this evening. Okay, thank you. Next is Mayor's announcements. At this time, I'd like to call our scouts back up. They're Chase uh, Bowman, Nolan Grove, and Cameron Spitz. These young men are uh, graduating from the Cub Scout program and crossing over to Boy Scouts. And tonight I have proclamations to present to them. Please come on up. Thank you. A proclamation, whereas on February 24th of 2019, the Cub Scouts Chase Bowman, Cameron Spitz, and Nolan Grow from Cub Scout Pack 3816 will cross the bridge from Cub Scouts to the ranks of Boy Scouts. Whereas the vision of Boy Scouts of America is to prepare every eligible youth in America to become a responsible participating citizen and leaders who are guided by the Scout Oath and Law. And whereas we are gathered here on this occasion to support these individuals as they cross the bridge to become Boy Scouts and recognize the faithful and steady path taken within the scouting organization. And whereas scouting for both boys and girls has been an integral part of our community and as well as well as a positive influence for many years. I now therefore, Mike Vandersteen, Mayor of the City of Sheboygan, do hereby recognize and congratulate Chase Bowman, Cameron Spitz, and Nolan Grow, and extend to them our deepest appreciation for all of this dedicated work and wish them the best in all in their future endeavors as they go into Boy Scouts. Chase? There you go, Chase. 
Okay. <laughs> Nolan. Very good. And Cameron. Let's give him a hand. Thank you very much, and I'll look forward to seeing you at your crossing over ceremony. Can okay, you take your seat then? Thank you. Um, with the uh, recent snow we had and the one that we're expecting, I just want to reemphasize that the council during the last year changed our snow emergency rules. So it's now uh, changed so that we can actually call a snow emergency. We haven't called one in over a decade. So there's some new rules that the community has to be aware of. So snow and when a snow emergency is called, there's no parking on snow emergency routes, which are, are signed, boulevards, cul-de-sacs, and dead-end streets. Now, illegally cars in the past for our normal parking ordinance only were ticketed, but if there's a snow emergency called, those illegally parked cars can be ticketed and towed. And all their cars must be parked on the outer even side uh, of the park for tomorrow, and they're going to be okay. But again, those also could be towed if they're not parked properly. So I just want to emphasize that. I know that uh, when we call our first, first snow emergency, there's going to be some surprised people. So please do what you can to spread the word. Um, today is also Martin Luther King Day. Since 1986, we've celebrated this holiday honoring Dr. Martin Luther King. This holiday reminds us uh, to advocate for social, racial, and ethnic harmony. It's a cornerstone of Dr. King's dream for justice, fairness, and equality to perpetuate the memory of Dr. King and his legacy and achieve future uh, uh, achieve achievement uh, to future generations. And the other thing I'd like to remind you of is that there's 133 days left until we move back into City Hall and have our council meeting on June 3rd. Thank you. Next, we'll go on with the consent agenda. It'll include items 2.2 through 2.13. All the person will. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the consent agenda or any of the items? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight eyes. Motion passes. Under reports of officers, items 3.1 and 3.2 be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, item 4.1 is resolution number 163 of 1819 by Alderpersons Donahue and Sorensen, authorizing the city attorney to engage services of special outside legal counsel to represent the licensing hearings and public uh, safety committee and common counsel with regard to a quasi-judicial hearing regarding the suspension and revocation of taxicab driver's license number 8112 Trevor Gore and authorized payment for services. Uh, Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. As a, an initial matter uh, for reasons set out in the resolution, I move to suspend uh, our rules. Uh, first of all, we need for suspension on this. Oh, sorry. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Uh, and accordingly, I move to pass the resolution. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight eyes. Motion passes. Item 4.2 is resolution number 164 of 1819 by Alderperson Wolf authorizing entering into a collateral assessment 
uh, development agreement with Badger State Lofts and Wisconsin Housing Economic Development Authority regarding the Badger State Lofts project. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to make a motion to suspend. Second. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. The resolution is before us. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight eyes. Motion passes. Items 4.3 through 4.8 will be referred to various committees. Under report of committees, item 5.1 is RC number 230 of 1819 by the committee, the whole, to whom is referred RO number 180 of 1819 by Fire Chief, submitting the draft summary report of the operational and departmental structure review of the Sheboygan Fire Department prepare, prepared by Fitch and Associates and recommends to file the document. Alderperson Sorensen. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just want to thank uh, everybody for their uh, their commitment and dedication uh, last week for the Committee of the Whole meeting. I think that we had a very good um, discussion regarding the fire department study. Um, thank you to the fire chief for all the work that he's done um, with the, uh, the, the Fitch and Associates as well to uh, putting this together. And just for a, a point of reference as well, we're not just putting this physically on a shelf and forgetting about this. Um, we're going to be integrating uh, a lot of uh, what, what came out of the study into um, the, the committee reports and the committee levels as well, too. Um, so I'm, I'm still excited to see how we can move forward uh, regarding uh, the information that we gathered from the study. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for those comments. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call uh, the roll? I'm sorry, Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I just wanted to expand on um, what Alder uh, Sorensen had said, we definitely are going to be taking the information that we received, whether it was from the union um, report that they provided us, the Fitch um, proposal, or the 2020 that uh, um, the fire chief um, Romus gave us. The, all three of those were very good um, presentations and information, and they all really mirrored each other and gave us a lot of uh, information to think about, review, and use in future uh, development and and projects. So, again, this is not this will not sit on a shelf and get dusty. Thank you. Thank you very much. Seeing no other discussion, if the clerk would call the roll. Eight eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is RC number 231 of 1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom is referred resolution number 157 of 1819 by all the persons Ryan Fleisch and Boren, expressing the sense that the council, uh, the sense of the council that the appropriate city officials should take the necessary steps to demolish the armory, including obtaining demolition permit abate the remaining asbestos materials, dispose of the demolition waste, and complete restoration of the site. It recommends approval of the resolution. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a, a motion to accept and adopt and pass resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. As it was discussed in, in the Finance uh, Committee, Finance and Personnel Committee, um, this is just to allow us to uh, take the next step and get more communication and more review of some of the um, information that has been brought forward to to finance and personnel about the uh, the armory. So this isn't going to actually allow us to demolish uh, the armory as some people may assume. This is just to keep things moving as far as getting 
getting information and being able to communicate um, what's happening out there. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Six eyes, two no's. Motion passes. Item 5.3 is uh, RC number 232 of 1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred General Ordinance number 35 of 1819 by Alderperson Ryan Fleisch, amending the section 82-33 of the Municipal Code as to add a position in the City Attorney's Table of Organization and recommends approving the ordinance. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion. Uh, to accept and adopt and pass the uh, resolution of the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Motion passes. Item 5.4 is RC number 233 of 1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred General Ordinance number 36 of 1819 by Alderperson Ryan Fleisch, amending Section 82-33 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code as to add a position in the Finance Department Table of Organization and recommends approving the ordinance. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to accept and adopt and pass the ordinance, but I'd also like to make an amendment to the pay scale. Um, there was First of all, is there a second to the motion? There is a second. second. Thank you for that motion. Please proceed with your amendment. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to make a, an amendment to the pay scale. Um, it was uh, labeled as J, and it actually should be a pay scale of K. Thank you for that. Uh, uh, amendment and, uh, and support. Is there any discussion on the amendment? Seeing none, all those in favor of the amendment, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, then we have a motion as amended uh, before us. Is there any further discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight eyes. Motion passes. Next is uh, under general ordinances, uh, item 6.1 will be re and uh, through 6.4 will be referred to various committees. Under uh, item number seven, other matters received after the agenda is published, city attorney. Thank you. 7.1 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31, 2019 and June 30, 2020. That will be referred to the licensing hearings and public safety committee. All the person will. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you very much for your time tonight.